Hi guys, today we're making soft skillet cookies. Chocolate chip cookies made in a skillet on the stovetop. When you've got that cookie craving and you don't want to bake a big batch of cookies, this is the perfect recipe. Uh, the cookies come out really soft. Uh, if you leave them in the skillet to cool off long enough, you can lift it out. But they're really nice to scoop out of the skillet directly and eat them. Uh, they're so fun and simple to make. Let's get started. This recipe makes two 5 inch skillet cookies. You can also make one large skillet cookie instead. We start off with one egg at room temperature. To this we're going to add just an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Beat this well. Now we're going to add some almond extract or almond essence. Just an eighth of a teaspoon, no more. And we also want a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Beat this well again and set that aside. For our dry flour mix, we have one cup plus two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Into this, we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. We're also going to add a quarter cup of light brown sugar or raw sugar. Just mix this well with a fork or whisk till everything is combined evenly. And now we can start. So we have a 5 inch skillet. Now we're going to make one cookie here. So for one cookie you need 3 tablespoons of butter. Just melt that in the skillet on a medium heat. So instead of the two 5 inch skillets, if you're working with a larger skillet to make one cookie, you can add 6 tablespoons of butter directly to the larger skillet and add all the flour. But here we melted the 3 tablespoons of butter and we're going to add 6 tablespoons that's heaped tablespoons of the dry flour mixture. Now you're going to mix this really well till all the flour is moistened with the butter and it starts to work itself into a cookie dough. So now uh, with constant stirring, the dry flour has disappeared and we formed a cookie dough. Now at this point you want to turn off the heat. To this we're going to add just over two tablespoons of the egg mixture for one cookie. Add double this amount if you're using a larger skillet. You really don't need to use all of the egg for this recipe. And now you want to work really quickly to mix that egg mixture in with the cookie dough. Mix it in quickly and evenly. Uh, this is why we have the heat turned off because we don't want the egg to start cooking before it's all mixed in. Once it's mixed in evenly, you want to pat down the cookie and smooth the edges, especially around the sides of the skillet. Now you can turn the heat back on and reduce to the lowest flame. So I'm using the smallest burner on my stovetop and reduce to the lowest flame. Now you can add some chocolate chips all over the top. You might need to press down the cookie if it sort of uh, pops up in the center a couple of times. And now cook on that lowest heat for 10 to 12 minutes. Um, since you're cooking in a skillet, you will really want to watch for any smells of the cookie getting burnt onto the bottom of the skillet. Okay, but it should take around 10 minutes to cook thoroughly. And we can get started on our next 5 inch cookie. So we're going to do this the same way as before. And after about 12 minutes, our cookie is ready. You really do need to allow the cookie to cool off for at least 5 minutes before serving. And since we're using cast iron skillet here, you also have the option of popping this into a hot preheated oven to bake the cookie instead of cooking on the stovetop. Bake in a preheated oven of 175 degrees Celsius for 10 to 15 minutes. Now the stovetop cookie, you do have to watch it so that the bottom doesn't get burnt. Uh, but the bottom does tend to get browner than if you bake the cookie. But both have uh, equally good results. You can try both if you like. And you can just scoop out the cookie and enjoy. It's nice and soft and chewy. If you leave it in a little while longer, you can actually lift the whole cookie out. Um, but uh, we really love to scoop out that cookie. It makes it a neat dessert. So that's your no fuss soft and chewy skillet cookies. 
I hope you tried the recipe. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye!